So hi, my name is Riley Hogan. Uh, I teach English 1 and 2 CP at Knoxville Catholic. Um, I'm just going to elaborate a little bit on what we do in English 1 and 2 CP and what you can expect in the classroom. So in English 1, basically what we're doing is we're building a framework for the rest of your high school and college career. In English 1, we're, we're focusing on grammar and mechanics and making you into better writers so that you're more skillful in your writing. Um, so we'll focus on mechanics, grammar, vocab, but also how to analyze text. Um, that's what we're going to focus on in English 1. And then from there, we'll move into getting into more difficult and challenging curriculum in English 2. And then by the time you're juniors and seniors in English 3 and 4, you're able to really analyze a text and even create some very persuasive writing that's going to help you in your college classroom. Freshman English um, seeks to give you the foundation you need for the rest of your time at Knoxville Catholic High School. So we have um, a good plan of writing and reading uh, and vocabulary. Uh, our writing is focused on building the skills that you'll need for your essays, um, research, uh, creative writing, as well as um, journal writing and communication. Uh, we read a lot of good books in freshman English and um, we spend a good bit of time working on vocabulary and grammar. In addition to reading the more classic works of literature as a class, we also have a choice reading program here at Knoxville Catholic. Many of us have classroom libraries and we partner with the library here at school so that we have high interest, um, modern pieces of fiction and books that students will enjoy reading. And we do this because we believe that much like with sports, you need to practice something to get better at it. And you need to practice reading. We know that in the future, students will need to be able to read critically, whether they're going to college or not. And they'll also have to build their stamina for reading. And so we provide time in class for students to read selections, whatever they choose to read. And we also give them access in our classroom to wonderful books. Um, and we do this because we know that it's important for students to build that stamina and to become lifelong lovers of literature. My name is Nikki Minot. I um, chair the English department here at Knoxville Catholic High School. Um, I just want to go over a bit of the placement process uh, with you. Um, it's a four-step process that starts with the high school placement test. Um, typically that takes place in um, December or in this case January. And we look at those scores, in particularly the scores, or in particular the scores that are related to um, the English classroom, their language scores, their grammar and mechanics. Um, and we use that as part of our data. We also go into our feeder schools and administer a timed argumentative writing um, to get a further piece of evidence about um, the students' writing abilities. And those, again, go into our, um, our process. We take those components and discuss um, every student's placement. Um, so what happens in April is that the chair, um, chairs of each of the major disciplines and um, administration and the guidance staff will come together and we discuss each and every student we look at their entire schedule, we look at their data, their writing, their personal statement, and their teacher recommendation from eighth grade, and we make our determination on their English One placement at that time. Um, there are several levels that a student might be placed in. Um, in English One, there's ND, uh, our standard level, as it's uh, sometimes called. There is the college prep level and the honors level. Um, and again, we look at the student's overall schedule to think about how we can find balance for every student who enters. Lastly, we'll spend a bit of time in freshman English practicing the skills that you need for standardized tests for PSAT, ACT, and SAT. 